Hey everyone, it's Kelly Day live in my studio and I'm here today to show you how to do a few mixed media poppies. This is not a complete art project, but I just thought I would do a little demonstration for you to show you some work that I'm doing right now. Hey Melody um, and hey Melissa. So if you don't know me, I'm Kelly Day. I'm a mixed media painter and I show and sell my work. I license my work for companies like Trader Joe's and The North Face. Um, I just had a show last night, it was very exciting. And so I do, I'm also an art mentor. I help women start living their lives as artists and um, an art educator for Golden Paints. So uh, if you don't know what mixed media is, it just means you're mixing together all of your favorite art materials. And what I like to use is acrylic paint collage, um, sometimes I throw in uh, spray paint or pastels or watercolors. Oftentimes I'll incorporate illustration, although you don't have to be an illustrator at all. Mixed media is an incredibly forgiving medium. Hey Bev! Uh, so today I've got a couple little paintings I've been working on where I've kind of thrown my illustrations onto these super fun little cradled wood boards. And I'm just going to show you a little demonstration of how I'm going to keep working on these. A lot of times for artists, if they don't know how to keep working on a painting, once it's at a place where you like it, but you don't know how to finish it, that can be a really, really hard thing. Um, I have one student whose painting has been sitting in her garage unfinished for three years, and that's super common. Um, the other thing people have trouble with sometimes is just how to get started with mixed media. And so these are tools that I work with my students on all the time so that they know how to just get in their studio and be painting. Because if you're not painting, you're not living your life as an artist. And and then we, you know, and then you can start to learn the bigger, grander scheme of things like how to make bigger paintings and finish them professionally, like the one you see in the background. So I'm just gonna flip my phone around and I'm just gonna start painting. And if you have any questions or anything, just let me know. So give me one second to do this. And let's see. If I can flip this around. Let's see. Huh. It's not the same as Instagram Live. <laughs> Hi, Bev. Okay, how do I flip this around? All right, I'm not going to, I'm going to um, not be able to see you. So hopefully, so I'll answer your questions afterwards. Let me get this down on my painting. Okay, can you guys give me a shout if you can see that? Give me a thumbs up if you can see those okay. All right, okay, let's get painting. So what I do with these little paintings is I've taken my illustrations and I've glued them to these cradled wood boards. And gosh, you could almost just leave them right like this because they're so pretty, but I'm gonna just keep painting. and. What I've got is I've got a bunch of golden paints here. These are fluid paints that I just love. I've got some brushes. I've got some gel medium. You can see this jar has been well used. Um, and I'm just gonna start by collaging a few little fun papers down. I've got lots of little origami papers and lots of paints. So I'm just gonna start by sticking down a few little collage papers onto my illustration. And the reason I like to do this first is because once you start painting, if, you're, uh, if your painting has some nice little patterns in that, it really, really, really adds a lot to the picture um, to have little patterns. It mixes up the paint, uh, the patterns give the eye a place to rest and something to make sense of. And if you can see these little colored papers here, those are little bits of rice paper that I've painted with, uh, you can paint them with watercolor or you can paint them with fluid acrylic paint. So can you guys give me a thumbs up if you're able to see everything I'm doing here? 
let me know. And I'll answer your questions afterwards because I can't see my phone right now. I'm just not that sophisticated. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so I'm just sticking down a few little collage papers here to give my poppy some interest. And then I'll come back later and I'll redo some of these illustrations. So I'm really not concerned with being exact here. I had one more collage paper, but I don't know where it went. Oh well, okay, so now I've got a few collage pieces on there and I'm going to just pop open some paints and start mixing them. These fluid paints are so awesome because they're just so fun to work with because they move around the canvas really, really easily. And they mix so beautifully. So I'm going to mix together some red, some orange, uh, and a lot of white to, to make some, uh, like a coral color here is what I'm after, but I want it to be really, really light. Okay, so then I'm just going to start, you know, dabbing some little paint bits here and there. And just not really thinking too much, just having fun with the whimsy of it all. That's the part I like. Okay, now I think I'm going to make a richer color here. I'm going to throw in some quinacridone violet. This is a real dark color, but let's see what happens. It's always fun to, you know, mix in like some real lights and some real darks. And these quinacridones are some of my favorite. Okay, so if you're not painting and you know you want to be painting, um, I really recommend that you jump in and start now. Get in it going, finding what resonates with you because the people who wait and keep thinking about their painting never do it. They're what I call waiters. <laughs> so that's my biggest advice for today. If you are wanting to live your life as an artist, you've been thinking about it forever, it's just not happening, is it because you just keep putting everything first? Is it because you're just intimidated to get in the studio? I mean, for a lot of people, it's just really about fear. You know? All right, let's add a pop of quinacridone red in here. I love this color. Look at my palette. The palette is a work of art in itself. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to add a little quinacridone red. Just so many gorgeous, gorgeous colors here. And, you know, you can, color mixing is a whole art of, of itself. Let's make that all, whoo, beautiful. So you can really learn a lot about just how to mix beautiful colors as well. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a great start here. I really, really don't need anything. I'm not doing anything fancy. Just playing with a few of my favorite colors and a few collage bits. So, okay, I'm gonna flip my phone around and talk to you for a minute here while that's drying. Hey everyone, <laughs> did you guys have any questions? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that dry. Hey, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna illustrate over it with my little handy dandy paint markers and put lots of doodles and fun little things in. You can see right now it's wet, but oh my gosh, look at those gorgeous colors and gorgeous shapes. And you'll be surprised, it might look a little messy now, but you'll be surprised if you have beautiful shapes, beautiful colors, and you just have great expression, which means you're not worried about, you know, uh, making everything look right. <laughs> hey, Lisa. 
Um, I will try to remember to record this. Hey, Kristen. Um, if you're not worried about trying to make everything look right, and you're then you're going to get some great expression, okay? So um, you'll be surprised when this dries and I go add just little bits of details of illustration and some gold in there, how gorgeous it will be. So um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And uh, when I'm done with this painting, I'll post it for you so that you can see the final one. Hey, Bev, I make it look easy. Oh, it's because I've been doing this a really long time <laughs> and I've made a lot of really bad paintings. So uh, that helps a lot. So, OK, and if any of you are out there and you and you're really wanting to paint and for some reason you're not, you're just um, not painting a lot. Um, it's probably because don't beat yourself up if you're not getting in your studio and you're putting everything first. Sometimes it's about breaking through those fears. Sometimes it's about just getting the tools to know how to get started or know how to work through that awkward teenage phase of your painting and learn how to finish it. Um, and, and so it's a combination of getting the mindset of an artist and getting the practical tools of, of how to really start living your life as an artist. And if you're not doing that and you've had that craving for years or even decades, that calling, um, then that's a big hole in many women's lives. And um, I really recommend you go find what resonates with you, whether that's a class or an online class or whether that's me and you want to take your art to the next level and do something bigger with an art mentor. Just start now because if you keep waiting, it never, never, never will happen. Hey, Annie, great to see you here. You've been painting all year and you're going to circle back with me right on. You can get on my mailing list and you'll always hear the latest. So if if you are one of those people that wants to get going um, with an art mentor and uh, really take your art to the next level, um, if you're ready to invest in yourself and give yourself the biggest gift of committing to your art, you can book a call with me at kellydayart.com slash booking. Um, actually, it'll be with one of my team members. And then if you're, we're a good fit to work together, I'll talk with you um, about that. So it's kellydayart.com slash booking. And Kelly is with an I-E. Please do not book a call with us if you are just looking for free information. This is only for women who really want to make their art happen in a big, big way. Hey, Estrina, I hope I'm saying your name right. Hi, Natalie, great to see you. Thank you, Robin, all right. Oh my gosh, it's so fun to see all you guys. So um, I will post this, go jump in, get some art supplies that you're excited about, have fun. It's all just about playing. Um, and thank you for being here.